Hey there, everyone. It is a joy, as always, to join with you on this Monday morning. Get the week started right. I hope you've already read your Bible uh, for your own personal time, and today we can just come together. This morning we can come together uh, for a moment of encouragement, devotion, and hopefully challenge in God's Word. Uh, we're going to be in Matthew 18 today. We're going to read just the first few verses, verses 1 to 5. Uh, this Most scholars agree this is a, starting the fifth major section in Matthew's Gospel, moving closer and closer to Jesus' death, burial, resurrection, and final teaching. This is sort of a, a section on how to live as God's people in this world. So join me. Matthew chapter 18, verses 1 to 5. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child to him and placed the child among them. And he said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. Excuse me. So a, a common conversation, right? The disciples have talked about this before. They, they're, they're wondering who's the most important? Who then is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Is it us? I mean, the implication is, am I the greatest? What do I need to do to advance my standing so that I can be more important, more influential with greater standing? And Jesus really turns their question on its head. He looks around, brings a little child to him. Truly, I tell you, unless you change. He's telling these disciples that ask him the question, you are doing it wrong. Unless you change and become like this child, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever takes the lowly position. Now, before I get there, Jesus even he's moved it away from who's the most important to even entering the kingdom of heaven. He says, if you don't change, you won't even get in. You can't accept me if you won't change. But if you want to be the greatest, whoever takes the lowly position like this child. Some of your Bibles probably say the humble position. Uh, the point we have to see here, this is not... Um, just accepting Christ with no questions. This is not a naive kind of faith or kind of walk. This is a humble, lowly position saying, I'm not the most important. It's not about me. I submit to Christ's authority. I submit to service to others. I will take the lower spot. I will take the lesser seat. As Jesus' example will show us, I will wash the feet of others. I will take the low position so that others might have the highest. Reminds me of what John the Baptist said about when, when he saw Jesus. He said, I must decrease and he must increase. The point is it's not about me. If you're focused on your position, your greatness, and your authority, you won't be the person God wants you to be. Take the lower position. Take the humble spot. Come to Christ, accepting him without all the answers, seeking to understand more, wanting to serve him and serve others. And you will be the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such as this child in my name welcomes me. Hmm. What an answer to the, the standard of our world and our, most of our churches, really. What an answer to pride and selfishness, the lower position, the lowly position, to humble ourselves that we might allow Christ to exalt us. Heavenly Father, thank you for your word. My prayer is that each of us would be humble before you. We would lower ourselves to let others be exalted, to let your name be praised. If it be your will to raise us up to places of influence and power, so be it. But let us not seek it. Let us not desire it. Let us live for your 
glory, your kingdom and your path, whatever that path looks like. Help us, Lord, to be as children, lowly and humble, seeking after a great and mighty king. In Jesus' name, amen.